Custom connectors are powerful in their own right, but custom connector policies give you control over the data that your users see that gets put into an API that maybe you can't control. And today I'm gonna to show you a basic custom connector policy on PowerCat Live. So in this example, I wanted to automate the YouTube API. You know, because of all this thing going on, why not automate it with Power Platform? So I wanna use the YouTube API to build a custom connector for video analytics. So I wanna be able to put in a date range and then a video ID and get back the performance of that video from YouTube. However, the way the YouTube API works is it actually uses a filter criteria that's very general because this could be used for playlists or channels and more. And so in order to get data back for just for a specific video, you have to put video equals equals and then the video ID. And so for our particular use, this is a little bit of a pain, but I figured, you know, there's only a few of us using this connector. We'll just have to remember to put in video equal equal every time we use it. What? Why? Uh, what the? Right. So in truth, it was occasionally inconvenient to have to remember to put in video equal equal every time we use this connector. However, with a custom connector policy template, we can have the policy put in video equal equal for us so that we just put in the video ID and then underneath the covers, inside the connector, it will then alter that so that it's what the API is expecting. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. And just to show the issue, here I've got this get video analytics action off of the YouTube reports API. And when I just give it a video ID here, I get a failure, right? And it's telling me that it's not, I don't have the filters in the right format. And what it wants is this, video equals, and then everything works fine and it gives me back some data. And so what I'm gonna do is here on the definition tab, under get video analytics, I can see here, there, here's my API. I'm gonna create a new policy that's going to apply to this particular action. And so under new policy, I'll give it a name and we're gonna call this add filter prefix. And the template I'm gonna use, and these are the different types of policies that you can apply. I'm gonna do set query string per parameter because this is a get based API. And now I want which APIs or which actions do I want it to apply to? Only get video analytics. And so now my query parameter is filters, right? That's, the, uh, that's what we want it to work on. And so we're gonna take the filters parameter and we're going to set it. And we're gonna set it equal to video and then with the equals. And then we're gonna take, take the filters parameter we're giving to the user and put it in here. And we can use the at, at uh, function here, at query parameters. And then this will take any of the query parameters that have come in already. In this case, we're gonna take the filters parameter that was given and prepend the video equal equal to it. And then we have the option what to do if it exists to uh, override, append, or skip. We're just gonna override it because we've got everything in here. And so now we can update the connector So let's come back to test, update the connector, and then going down to get video analytics, let's give it an end date, somewhere, something in the future, doesn't matter here for our purpose, and then a start date, something in the past, and then for the filter, we're only gonna give it the video ID and not the video equal equal. And we'll see now that we're getting a 200. And so our users will be able to use this in a more natural way and not have to prepend the video equal equal because that's being done by our policy. So custom connector policies are a little bit of an advanced feature, but there's many of them and they can be used to manipulate the data coming in and out of your connector and make your connectors more usable to your users. Thanks for watching PowerCat Live. Mm -hmm.